Hey y'all, this is Church from Church's Intake. So let's get into it. Um, so uh, I'm going to read from uh, Proverbs chapter 9, 1 through 18. It talks about the wisdom and the foolishness and the foolish woman. You need to hear these things. We have a lot of foolish women in the church today. A lot of these women could even be pastors co-pastors, so-called uh, prophetess, prophets, or whatever they call themselves. Um, they want to, some of these women want to be bishops. Some of these women want to be anything but just a speaker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there was, there was no women leaders like that in the book, man. That's why he had 12 disciples. None of the disciples was women. This is a fact. And there was women that followed him. But they knew their place. Just like, obviously, if they was to teach uh, to other women and grow the women like they should, instead of trying to grow the congregation of men, which they shouldn't, you know. Let's get into it, though. Wisdom. Wisdom hath built her house. She hath horn out her seven pillars she hath killed her beasts she hath mangled her wine she hath all furnished her table she hath sent forth her maidens she crieth upon the high places of the city whoso is simple let him turn in hither as for him that warneth understand Oneth understanding, she saith to him, Come eat my bread and drink my wine, which I have mangled. Forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of the understanding. He that pro proveth a scorner gathereth to him shame, to himself shame, and he that rebuketh a wicked man gathereth to himself a blunt. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hath hate, at least, least he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give under give instruction to a wise man, and he will be yet wiser. Teach just teach a just man, and he will increase his learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. For by me, thy days shall be multiplied and the years of thy life shall be increased. If thy be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thy scorneth, Thy also shalt bear it. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. For she sitteth at the door of her house on the seat in the high places of the city to call passengers who go right on their ways. Whoso is simple, let him turn in hid there and as far and as for him that warneth un, warneth understanding she saith to him stolen waters are sweet and bread eaten is secret and pleasant but he knoweth not that the dead are there and that her guests are in the depths of hell God bless the reading of his word. It's right in the word right here as we speak. So um, if you started noticing in some of these churches, a lot of these women that say they're so-called preachers and pastors, they're starting to sound more like men, wanting to be like men, talking like men, like, you know, breathing all heavy. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? All of that extra stuff. That's definitely in these uh, Pentecostal apostolic churches. I don't know about in the Catholic churches or whatsoever it may be, or 
um, other religious churches. But yes, a lot of these women are trying to take the stance of a man, trying to over supersede a man, talking about they got all of this knowledge because they got these book smarts. But that's not real knowledge and understanding. That's why you're supposed to study the word for thyself to get understanding, you know, study the word thyself to get approval unto God. You know what I'm saying? So if you study the word and you trying to get understanding and you're supposed to search the word in spirit and in truth, you ain't supposed to try to be out here trying to be the head of the church. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these men, you know, they got these co-pastor women or whatever. I mean, back in my day, I used to be, they used to be first ladies, you know what I'm saying? They're not no co-pastors. It wasn't really like, you know, the first lady still had the same type of uh, reverence as the pastor did. Like you gave reverence to the first lady, like, yo, the pastor of the church, that's his wife. She's the first lady of the church. A lot of these people are like, the dude's the pastor of the church and his wife's now the co-pastor of the church. Like, no, bro. Like, if you was anointed by God and appointed by God, doesn't mean that your wife was anointed and appointed by God. And if that be the case, why couldn't she be a first lady or something? Why do everybody, you know, a lot of these people want, they want to have titles, man. And it's not about titles. It's about getting the word across. So if you just took the title away, what's the difference? If she wanted to, to talk and speak to people, you know, they used to have women, you know what I mean? Women uh, church or women study, you know what I mean? Bringing up, you know, the women in the church, like trying to help out other women get to where they need to be in Christ and knowing how to follow the laws and how to how to be a husband. I mean, how to be a wife to a husband, you know, being able to submit. A lot of these women that's high ranking and everything that's trying to take the stance of the man in the church. They're not really submitting to their man by being like, yo, they want to, some of them try to outdo their own husbands in the church. You can see some of these things. And it's like, a lot of these women are starting to sound like men. And I know that's not of God. That's not, that no woman should sound like a man. You should be like a lady, be a woman. You know what I mean? Talking to your, your, your voice and don't be trying to talk on all big and all boasting, blah, 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 blah. Like that's not getting the point across. That's not getting the word of God across. Like God comes, he doesn't come with no crazy loud voice too. a lot of these men. I know, you know, that's how they come up. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people come up with the, oh, I got to speak loud into the mic. Like, no, God don't even need you to speak loud into the mic. You need to be firm, stern and sturdy with your word of God. And once he give you the good word, all you got to do is just speak the word and it comes out fluently. And a lot of these people you know, they trying to be like, you know, famous or whatever, like, uh, uh, uh. like it's, it's, it doesn't even cause for all of that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? And that's why God wants everybody like he doesn't even put the pastor above the, the, the flock. You know what I'm saying? Like the flock and the pastor on, on the same level in, in a way, definitely to God. You know what I mean? Like it's just like even the disciple isn't even over his teacher type of deal. You know what I'm saying? So people got to get understanding with that. Like a lot of these women, they want to be co-pastors instead of being the first lady and having a little lady ministry. You can have a woman's ministry. No one's saying that you can't speak to the people. We just saying, you know what I mean? It's just saying that you don't need to search for a title. You don't need to have, you don't have to be a pastor to get your word across or to be um, acknowledged or, 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 um, observed as, you know, someone of, of great worth because you don't really have authority over a man. I mean, that's why God made it Adam to Eve. You know what I mean? The woman follows the man and the man follows God and they're supposed to all follow God together. But, um, and he doesn't even put his man, he don't even put us like above the woman like that. Like we supposed to still be there for our woman. We supposed to love our woman and then we supposed to show them love because God shows us love and we supposed to love God. And you know what I mean? It's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be order and it's disorder right now in the churches today. Like a lot of women are trying to act like men. They talking like men when they speaking and um, you know what I mean? Because all they get, all of these things, they just mimicking what maybe they husband do or what they seen another man do you know what i'm saying it's not it's not of themselves they're not they're not they're, they're like feeding off of somebody else's energy or whatever it's not like what they come up with their own 
is something some, from somebody else instead of being a woman and, and showing it, you know, in a ladylike way, how you can be be definitely powerful in a woman type of way instead of just trying to be powerful like uh, like a man like you got to be heard in a certain way with a certain voice on or on a certain pitch like that's not it man you coming soft with the right word it still hits hard it hits hard as long as it's coming with that real fire and that truth and a lot of these men is letting a woman overstep them and overstepping boundaries and a lot of these men are starting to be more a meek like a woman you know what I'm saying? And they're not even they're not even putting their ladies in place. Oh, you you the pastor. Oh, God said you co-pastor. And they ain't even go to God themselves. They know what's wrong. And then he's just living in this foolishness. And I'm telling you, like the falling away from the church is, is, is going on right to this day. Like God wasn't in these synagogues like that. And the real ones that follow God, God ain't God ain't putting us in these synagogues like that, man. He don't want us to be in these churches. He wants us to be able to be uh, able to fly out to other countries, to, to other neighborhoods and speak his word of truth, spirit and truth. You know what I'm saying? Not what you want to hear. Not always what you want to hear. You go to God, right? You go to God. You ask him what you want me to say, what you want me to speak. He might give you a word. You might open up your Bible to a word and be like, oh, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these people, they ain't, a lot of these women is in the wrong place for one. That's why you can see a lot of these people are stressed out. They looking all stressed. You can see the aging on people and stuff like that because it, it's, it's disorder in their whole flock. You know what I mean? And they they just dismantling all the people and trying to tell you, oh, yeah, you could be a, you could be a pastor, too. You know, you just go to Bible college and, and then that's that. Like. It's beyond Bible college, man. God's out here to humble the, the, the proud, to humble the people that think they know things that they don't know. That's why God said he makes it simple. If you was a person that truly got get the word of God and you can get the word of God out, you should be able to simplify it. Just like I put it to you like this. If anyone was to ask me an electrical question concerning a troubleshoot, because I'm a, I'm I'm definitely a troubleshooter by i mean i'm a troubleshooter with people and definitely electrically if you was to ask me a question i can basically tell you the answer how to troubleshoot that circuit an electrical circuit without being on those premises and i can simplify it to some of the the, the weakest people that no understanding of electricity that's how you're supposed to be able to read this word. You're supposed to be able to simplify it to people that don't know, have understanding, and they can break it down so that they're able to understand it. If you can't do that, bring an understanding to the people, then you're not the right one. You should be able to bring understanding to whoever asks you any type of question. That's how you know you got real knowledge and understanding. And that's how you know you can really say to, uh, preach the word out to people. Because if you can't, simplify things and a lot of people don't want to simplify things oh it's too big no it's not it's simple for the people that know for the people that's supposed to know and the people that god blesses and anoints those people can simplify all word to understanding for every group of type of people that needs to have understanding and that is it so god bless the reading of his word today I'll come back in a little bit. We're going to probably be in Proverbs a little bit more because, uh, yeah, there's some more wickedness up in there. You know what I mean? So that was uh, Proverbs chapter 9, 1 through 18, I believe. Subscribe to Church's Intake. God bless.